Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tyler and this is Tech with Tyler. And today I got a video on improving your performance of your gaming PC without spending any extra money. In this video, we're gonna be covering some ways to improve the performance just by tweaking some settings, whether that be in the game itself or on the desktop in the operating system or on your graphics card. We're gonna start with number one, which is XMP profile. And this is a setting that is on most modern BIOSes. And when it's enabled, it'll allow you to use the max frequency of your RAM. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make your RAM faster if you have the headroom for it. If your RAM supports over a certain speed, it's gonna be capped out if you do not turn this XMP profile on. And in order to do so, you just go into your BIOS settings. You can search up your motherboard model and then search how to get into the BIOS. Usually it's something like the escape key, delete key, F11, F12, something along those lines. And then once you're in the BIOS, you'll just wanna find that setting for XMP profile and make sure it's enabled. The next setting to change is in the Windows operating system itself. And that's gonna be ensuring that your high performance is turned on and you don't have any weird power settings disabling the performance of your PC. Another thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a look at our task manager and just make sure that we close any unused apps while we're gaming. Things like Google Chrome, Edge, uh, and other browsers as well will eat up a lot of resources, especially Chrome. So you're gonna wanna make sure you shut those down and this will leave you more resources for your gaming. You would be surprised at the performance boost that you're gonna get if you do not have 32 tabs open in Chrome. Another thing to look at in the task manager is actually your RGB controlling software, things like that. Those have been notorious for taking up resources while gaming and actually hindering your performance. So go ahead and close those down as well. Once it's set in the settings, you can go ahead and close it and you shouldn't have a problem. Our next step is to actually update our graphics card drivers. I know it's a simple task, but making sure your graphics card drivers are up to date is going to ensure that when those updates come out for those games, there's no breaking fixes and there's no issues with old graphics card drivers. Head over to NVIDIA or AMD's website and grab the right tool for your graphics card. If you do not know what specs you have in your computer or what graphics card you have, you can check this video I made about checking what PC parts you have. And if you're like the majority and have a GeForce RTX card or any NVIDIA graphics card, you can check out this video on how to update your graphics card here. Once that's all said and done, you can use something in-game to help boost your FPS. Something that I turn on myself, even with an RTX 3080 Ti, is NVIDIA DLSS. And what this is gonna do is it's going to improve your performance in terms of FPS by rendering a lower resolution, but then upscaling it for your monitor. So if you're using 2K monitor or you're using a 4K monitor, it's highly recommendable to use DLSS because it's gonna make the computing power a lot less for rendering that resolution, opposed to not using the AI technology to do so. If you have an AMD card, you're gonna be using FSR. This is their version of DLSS. Once that's said and done, you can set a max frame rate for your game. So in, in the case of my scenario, I have a 100 Hertz monitor. I'm gonna set my max frame rate to just over 100, so 120. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna cap the frame rate. It should, in theory, give you more stable frames and less drops, and it's gonna try to keep it consistently at that 120. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, 60 frames or 70 frames. And if you have a 244 hertz monitor, you'll probably wanna set it around 250 just to give yourself some headroom as well. So the last tip that I'm gonna give is to turn off ray tracing. I know it looks a lot better in game with the ray tracing on, but if your PC is struggling with frames and it still have that on, that would be one of the first things that I turn off in order to get that better frame rate. With all that said, I hope that some of these tips have helped you to increase your performance while gaming and get those frames up. If I did help you bring those frames up, I hope you can leave me a like down below. And also, if you have any questions, as always, just leave them down in the comments section. And I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.